Programming, Quick Start and Custom Modes. The Gradient CCV includes two types of pre-programmed mode options, Quick Start Modes and Custom Modes. This video will review how to program and use each of these modes. These modes enable a user to define and save a particular set of ventilation modes and settings that can be recalled later. Their benefit is that users can customize and save ventilation parameters that can be quickly and easily used to initiate ventilation for a patient. These user programmable modes can be edited and resaved at any time. It should be noted that not all CCV users need to know how to program modes. This responsibility should be designated to a selection of users within the CCV's intended department of use. Let's start with quick start modes. The two quick start mode options are intended to decrease the time needed to set up the machine before initiating ventilation in emergency cases. The user can save two profiles, one for adult patients and one for pediatric patients. This allows users to save and load settings appropriate for the average patient, then make adjustments based on the specific needs of the patient, reducing the number of adjustments as well as saving setup time. To initiate ventilation with a quick start mode, simply turn on the CCV and press the button of the mode you want to select. The indicator light under the mode will flash, and the CCV will display the settings saved under this mode. Press the button again to confirm your selection. The indicator light will remain illuminated and the CCV will begin ventilating to the saved settings. If you do not confirm your selection within a few seconds, the CCV will continue ventilating with its current settings. To edit a quick start mode, press and hold the button of the mode you want to edit. Continue to hold the button for approximately 3 seconds until the ventilator beeps twice and the indicator light under the button begins to blink rapidly to indicate that you are editing the quick start mode. Make any desired changes to the quick start mode but do not press the alarm silence slash reset button as this will cancel any changes. Once you have made all changes, Press and hold the quick start button for approximately 3 seconds. The CCV will beep once to confirm that the changes have been saved, the indicator light will stop flashing, and the CCV will start ventilating with the new settings. In addition to the quick start modes, there are three custom modes that can be programmed by the user. These modes allow teams to save treatment settings for frequently encountered disease states to be recalled later. For example, a facility may design one custom mode for adult patients with ARDS, a second for pediatric patients recovering from anesthesia, and a third for asthmatic patients requiring support. To select one of the custom modes, press the custom mode selection button. The indicator light next to custom mode number one will begin to flash to show that you are selecting a custom mode. Use the parameter slash mode adjustment arrows to move between the custom modes and note that the CCV displays the settings stored under each custom mode. Once the blinking indicator is next to the custom mode you wish to select, press the custom mode selection button again to confirm your choice. The indicator light will stop blinking and the CCV will begin ventilation with the settings of the selected custom mode. As with quick start mode, if you do not confirm a selection within a few seconds, the CCV will continue ventilating with its current settings. To edit a custom mode, press and hold the custom mode selection button for approximately 3 seconds. The CCV will beep twice and the indicator light will begin flashing to indicate that you are editing a mode. Use the parameter slash mode adjustment arrows to select which custom mode you would like to edit. Make any desired changes, being careful not to push the alarm silence slash reset button as this will exit the process and discard your changes. To save the custom mode you are editing, press and hold the custom mode selection button. While still holding the button down, press the mode selection button as well. The CCV will beep once to indicate that the changes have been saved 
the indicator light next to selected custom mode will stop blinking and the CCV will begin ventilation with the newly saved settings. The CCV arrives from the factory with preset defaults for all custom modes, which can be found in the user guide. The modes are locked until installation, during which time the technician will unlock the modes so that the designated care provider can confirm or edit them before saving. After this, user programmable modes can be edited and resaved at any time when the ventilator is not in use on a patient. If you are unable to access any of the user programmable modes on your CCV, please contact your Gradient Service representative. The last thing to remember is that each user programmable mode captures a full configuration of ventilation settings. If you change any settings when using a quick start mode or custom mode, the indicator light next to the pre-programmable mode you are using will go off. This is because you are no longer using the exact settings saved under the quick start or custom mode. If you select the user programmable mode again, the CCV will revert to the exact settings saved for that mode. In short, the custom mode indicator light will only remain on when you're using the exact settings saved under that mode.